A Lexington Middle School student has become a social media star for his yo-yo tricks. Stony Mac's special talents gained national attention and earned him a spot on a national TV show. Stony shared his skills with us on Best of the Bluegrass. I ended up on Game of Talents actually through my Instagram. So what they did is they reached out to me through a direct message and commenting on my video. And this is like the, so there's, before I go into detail on this, there's multiple people. There's a director, there's the casting agent. And I was reached out by the casting agent. And she direct messaged me, told me everything. And first thing I did is I showed the message to my dad and I sent her to him, basically. So they had a conversation. She told me what Game of Talents was, the idea behind it what I would have to do when they would fly me out and all that kind of like details uh, that are like behind the scenes. So basically after that, we had two interviews via Zoom like we are on now. And uh, it was just questions like, what's your name? What's your favorite ice cream? Stuff like that. It was like super random, but kind of cool. So it was like, they would send that to the directors and the people who picked the people to go on the show. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Like during the beginning. And so they flew me out to LA and the show was made. <laughs> so what was that like when you were on the show? Oh, it was crazy. Uh, I had my own tent. They had this huge concession stand where they had like Skittles, hot Cheetos and all that type of stuff. And everything was free. They had hot chocolate. They had bagels. I don't even like bagels, but that's important to me. And uh, yeah, it was crazy. Um, actually, there's this rule whenever you're in LA that a kid can't film for more than like four hours a day without going to school. So actually I had to go to school while I was on the show and it was a trip. So there was this professional teacher who's like best friends with Adam Sandler and Raymond Simone. Those are two huge actors. So yeah, she was my teacher, talked with her. She told me a bunch of stories. You know the show Everybody Hates Chris? Yes. She was the teacher for the kids on that show. And so it was crazy. She's been in the business for a long time. So I was able to do that. And uh, hair and makeup, everyone always talks about that, but it was crazy. I mean, they had, to, I, didn't, I don't wear makeup or anything, but like they wore, uh, they put stuff like anti-shine stuff on my face. So the cameras wouldn't be too bright. And the cameras, that's another huge thing. They were long. I mean, you see like from right here to the ground, that's how long like the cameras were and it was awesome. So yeah. So you ended up on this show because you are really talented with a yo-yo. How did that all get started? Uh, it's a long story, but I'll make a long story short. So basically we went to a field trip and at the end of the field trip, they passed out these cheap little yo-yos that you had as a kid, probably that broke after like two days, little cheap plastic metal things. I mean, plastic things, sorry. And, um, from there, I kind of learned a couple of tricks cause I didn't know any tricks and everyone in my class was better at me. And I kind of wanted to compete and not be the worst in the class. And then about three weeks after that, I saw my friend and he actually is a close friend of mine now and I saw him doing tricks and so I kind of wanted to be like him compete like him and uh, that's kind of where that happened and I just exploded and um, I kind of take a different aspect than he does I like performing more and like obviously I'm on tv so I like performing more more engaging stuff like that more flashy type of tricks and so that's how all my opportunities came to be so yeah and and you are a big social media star so uh, how have you developed your following? Why, why do you think, obviously you have a great personality and lots of talent. So how do you approach your social media? What do you want to put out there to people? Uh, what I want to put out to people is stuff obviously I enjoy because at the end of the day, it's still my account with zero followers or a million followers. Uh, and uh, so mostly just be me because there's no point in acting like someone else that I'm really not. So that and um, quality content always, because if someone's going to invest their time to follow me, I want it to be worth it, stuff like that. Engaging stuff, collabs, that's a huge thing. Interacting with other big like stars and yeah, that's what I want to put out there. So what is your life like in Lexington? You go to Edith J. Hayes Middle School. I mean, are people, you know, are you sort of a little celebrity there or everybody just treats you just like, you know, you're just normal kid? Well, I mean, Close friends, nothing's really happened. They were with me whenever I didn't even have Instagram before, even yo-yo and all that. So them, it's kind of like, they kind of like understand that like things are different now, but it's kind of really the same. People I don't know, they kind of treat me like I'm like bigger than I feel like I actually am. Like I had these group of kids come up and said they saw me, they asked for pictures, stuff like that. And uh, so that was really cool. But uh, it just depends on the person. People who don't see you will try to act like your friend, you know, how that all goes. But uh, 
other than that, it's not really that big a deal. Well, probably it's a bigger deal than I make it seem, but I kind of just like try and stay focused because it's school at the end of the day. That's very important. So yeah, it's basically how that all works. So what is your dream? What does the future hold for you? I, I know that you are working on a clothing line. You are clearly an entrepreneur. Is that the hoodie that we're seeing there, the Yo-Yo Mac? Yeah, this hoodie right here, Yo-Yo Mac Blazing My Trail. Uh, that will be coming soon on my Instagram, link in bio soon. Whenever that comes out, I'll do a huge announcement for that. So yeah. And then down the road, what is your dream? You know, what, what, if you could do anything, what, what is the end goal for you? Uh, if I could do anything, I would want to move out to LA and either continue yo-yoing, play football in the NFL, or be a businessman like my dad. That's my goal, end goal, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, that's what I strive for every day. And also, I really like entertaining, so I would also want to be a director or something. I think that was so cool. Like the directors for the TV show, I mean, they were really cool people. And uh, I don't know. I just like putting smiles on people's faces with what I'm able to do. So, yeah, that's my end goal. That's my dream. Also, travel. I really want to travel the world, the country, anywhere.